there are two ways to pre-record a financial document. We can either set it on hold or we can park it. We will now focus on the differences between the two approaches and afterwards I will show you both of them in the system. So first let's take a look at the hold functionality. Holding a document will temporarily save the data that is already entered in the system. The financial document that we pre-filled with values can still contain errors. No account balances and transactional figures will be updated when setting a financial document on hold. The data of the document is also not made available for evaluations. And last but not least, no real document number or description will be assigned by the system when holding a financial document. Let's now compare this to the park functionality and then we will jump into the system. The park functionality is also used to temporarily save the data entered in the system. The document can still be erroneous and no account balances and transaction figures are updated. So this is the same as the hold functionality. However, in this case the data is made available for evaluations and also a document number is assigned. There are two more main advantages of the park functionality in comparison to the hold functionality. First of all, during a document entry, a step-by-step -step model for controls, so a 4i principle and an approval structure can be applied, meaning that the workflow for document parking can be set up in such a way that a journal entry has to pass through an authorization process before it's actually being saved to the system. And also, with the park functionality, we have an acceleration of workflows. Workflows can be made more efficient by assigning park documents to specific employees for further processing. Let's now jump into the system to see this in action. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel. I am now logged onto the Fiori Launchpad, but you can also do it in the GUI screen. So we navigate to the application called Create Incoming Invoices. Please be aware that this is only an example. It also works in other financial transactions. And you can open this via GUI transaction FB60 as well. Now we insert our vendor, the invoice date, a reference, and the GL account over here. Let's include a tax code at least. And then let's say for any reason, we are not finished yet. We are interrupted by our work. And now we can click either on hold or on park. So let's do this first for hold. Let's click on this one. You can see a small window appeared saying that we need to insert a temporary document number. So this is mandatory, just insert a number. This number will be deleted later on when we really post the document. Let's say two, hold document. And you can see document two was held. Now let's say later on we want to finish the document, therefore we go to menu, edit, select held document. We insert a number and click on continue. Then we click on yes. And you can see the information is now being displayed again and we can edit the document further. Let's now look at the second case. So here I have a blank document again, let's say we enter some information. This is fine. So this time we click on park. You can see this time a real document number was generated in our respective company code. So we can't edit them in the same transaction, but we need to do it either via the application called post park journal entries. However, as this is not a standard application, we would first need to activate this and therefore let's just do it in the GUI transaction. However, the Fiori application would look exactly the same. So we go to transaction code FBV0. Then we need to include our document number. So the number of the park document or we could click on document list, let's say fiscal years 2023, execute. You can see here, this is our park document. Now we double click on it and then we are able to further edit the document. Yeah, and those are the two ways how we can pre-record financial documents in SAP s hana I hope you liked the video. If so, then please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. See you next time.